Hi everybody. So in this video, I just want to take a minute and um, go over a couple things that are coming due um, at the end of the week and also really focus on the reflection journal that you guys are going to have due at the end of the week in 011. So right now in 101 and 011, you're kind of working on separate things. In 101, you're going to be finishing up your draft with a personal narrative essay. In 11, you're going to be reflecting on what you learned in the process of writing that paper. Um, so there are things that are happening a little bit separately. Um, so what you're going to be doing in 101, just focus on your personal narrative draft. Listen to the feedback I gave you. Um, take your paper to the writing center. Focus on getting that draft that you've already written in good shape to turn in based on feedback and all of the resources posted in 101. Over here in 011, what you're going to be doing is working on this reflection and on the writing process discussion board, which is due Thursday. That's tomorrow night uh, by midnight and you need to respond to appear as well. Uh, you just need to answer these four questions. So I made a video about it helping you out. Um, that video includes the uh, basic breakdown of what we mean by the writing process, which is the process that you've been using in order to write your personal narrative. Um, and you can use that to help you just answer these four questions. The first one is what was the hardest part of the writing process? Uh, was it planning? Was it drafting? Or was it uh, outlining? There we go. That's the other one. Uh, planning, outlining, or drafting? What was the hardest part of the process? Um, and what tip, habit, strategy, or resource did you use to help you overcome the hardest part? And then the next question is, what part of the writing process was the easiest? Um, was it planning? Was it outlining? Was it writing the paper? What part of for you was the easiest part? Um, and then what tip, habit, strategy, or resource did you use to help you with the easiest part? Um, so those are the four questions. Just answer them in complete sentences. I'll post a sample for you guys so that you can kind of look at my model and follow that. Um, but just make sure you post on the board and respond to a peer. Uh, so then once you've done that, and it's important to do that first, because once you've done that, you can move on to the critical thinking reflection journal. This is just one to three paragraphs in a Word document, or if you want, maybe like a three minute video. You can make a video and post that. Um, you could make a PowerPoint and do a video. Uh, it's really your choice as far as whether you want to just do it as a basic journal paragraph in a Microsoft Word document, or if you want to do like a two to three minute video and post that. Um, you'll post it, same link, there's instructions on what to do for each type and each format. The basic task, the thing that you're responding to, is this... Um, prompt that we have here under structure and content. So we used analytical thinking many times during the writing process. We've already done it um, in writing our personal narrative essay. So what I want you to do is reflect back on what you did as you wrote your personal narrative essay. Think about what you said in the reflection on the writing process board, which is this discussion board you need to answer by Thursday. Um, think about what you said there. Then write one to three paragraphs responding to the prompt below. And this is the prompt. Using analytical Analytical thinking, identify how you broke down the goal of creating the two to three page personal narrative essay and discuss how you broke it down into smaller, more manageable tasks by following the writing process. If you click this, this will bring up the document that I created for you guys that you can see right here. There's the writing process. Brainstorm. This is what we did. We brainstormed, we wrote a thesis, we revised our thesis, we outlined, and we did a rough draft. So these are the stages of the writing process that we've already done. That's the sample. We don't need that. Here we go. Good grief. Okay. We're just going to go back to content. So that writing process that's linked right in there, you can kind of use that to shape how you do your reflection, how you respond to the reflection. 
And you can explain what resources or tools helped you to complete each of those smaller tasks. Using introspection, explain at least one helpful tool or resource that you will continue to use on your next assignment. So what I want you to do is answer this prompt in a couple paragraphs or in a short video in an organized fashion. You can see that if you go with the journal reflection, which is the Microsoft Word document where you just upload your one page, because it's only three paragraphs long, your one page response, your one page journal reflection, um, you want to make sure you have clear topic uh, thesis and topic sentences. You want to develop your response with supporting details and concrete examples. And you want to apply the writing tools you've learned to compose your response. So those are really the only requirements. Um, so it's helpful if you've done the discussion board first because it's going to help you have some ideas about the writing process and some thoughts about the writing process already. So this is what you need to do.